Oh, shoot. You are born to create. And that is interesting because I see this card as the Empress card telling us that you have everything. You have the power to create. You have, you are in on, you know, put on this planet to create. If not, just it's not just to have kids and to reproduce, but it's to provide different perspectives, to create homes for people, to create homes for yourself, to inspire the world to, in you know, to embrace its own creativity, right? So, you know, those things are wonderful outside views of it, but truly everybody has an artistic side to them, even if they don't deem it artistic or they don't see it artistic. Practical, the way, seeing things in a practical way and organizing things, that is a certain way of creativity because you do it your way that you know is beneficial and functional for you. Very creative in a sense. But you were born to create means that you have every right to want to have whatever you want to have to create whatever you want to create and not limit your possibilities of creation okay never limiting yourself limiting your possibilities of creation here and i feel like right now taurus there is a lot of realizing that you're limiting your 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 potential to you know not your potential but your you know, you're limiting your box of creativity or you're realizing that you have been limiting your box of creativity and you're ready to, you know, break that free, break free from that. The only red flag I'm kind of seeing regarding the breaking free part is that is the nine of swords in your, story, if, in your external energy, which I always tie with the present energy here, which is the four of coins. So there's a lot of stress in regards to breaking free, but you're done with this. That's what it's telling me. You're done with the same old shit. You're done with the same old patterns. You're done with doing things the same old way. Because it's not you anymore. Like, it's not something you're comfortable with. It's safe. It's familiar. It's something you're used to. But you're ready to expand. You're ready to do something differently. You're no longer interested in being limited by the things or the responsibilities that people either put on you, people see you, to, you know, holding up, you know, it's, it's now your time to change a lot of those things, but it's also recognizing that those changes are needed and what changes need to be done and being fearless and having confidence in yourself. I can't wait to see what the, um, surrender, sorry, power of surrender cards have to say at the very end of this, but let's go ahead and get started with this, right? So. The past cards here, we have the two of coins. Now, the two of coins does talk about, you know, keeping things balanced, you know, kind of, you know, it can mean take, keeping things balanced. It can also indicate that there's this, you know, the signing between two different offers, you know, both of them have great, are great value. It's not about which one is the most valuable, you know, practically. It's mostly about what does, which one has the most value to you. Now, this is this is one of these things with the two of coins. I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially before Uranus went to Taurus, there was a lot of like, okay, well, I'm not really necessarily happy with the situation, or I, you know, ideally psyched about how things are going at this moment with something, but instead of kind of changing it, I know that it's fine. I'll keep it the way. I'll keep it stable because it's not. It's not easier, but it's it's yeah. It's less of a hassle. It's something that I definitely can't really figure out right now right it's kind of like a putting off the decision making and kind of distracting yourselves with things that you believe was more important which was helping people which was you know taking care of your family or focusing on money you know doing things like that because the two of pentacles yes it talks about juggling two options but it can also indicate like keeping the balance of a situation but, you know, as you try to make a decision or instead of making a decision, usually can indicate procrastination because you're just kind of like holding up, holding them up in the air, moving up and down and not really making a choice. So Taurus, I kind of feel like with the two of coins, right, this was like a procrastinating energy. Like, you know, you, you knew you had to make a decision about something, about how you want to move forward and how you want to, you know, you know, grow, but, or, or move on from situation, whatever choice was coming up, we know regardless of, you know, I feel like there was a decision here, and for a little bit, there was a little hesitance of making that decision, right? Now, I kind of feel like, regard, you know, regarding this time period, you, you know, you did make the decision, but I feel like it was the decision that you felt was the safest and not the ones that you wanted, which is why we're here with the Four of Coins, Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles talks about holding things close, holding things tight and close to you, not opening, not opening up, um, and I kind of feel like with the four of coins here regarding, you know, what you, you know, what you picked here, this was something, of course, that 
one that you, of course, I think it was a, you believed was a safer option. But at the same time, some of you guys may have picked the one that you may have felt was the most valuable. And now you're kind of holding on to that kind of option for dear life. Now, it could be for two things. Because you're afraid to change what you no longer are desiring or what you believe you deserve more of. Or maybe you just believe that you deserve something different or deserve, you know, something other than what you, ha you know, what you decided to settle with here. It can also indicate here that you also... You know, you're, you know, you're holding on because you're not necessarily confident in going out and doing something different or creating a totally different, you know, you know, platform, a stable place, a safe spot. It's like, you know, whatever you're doing right now, you're only doing it because you know it's reliable and you know it's consistent. The only problem is that I feel like for a lot of you guys desire something different, some changes. Because the Ace of Wands is the underlying energy here. Ace of Wands is a brand new beginning, taking action, doing what you want, going with your heart's, you know, your, your heart's, not necessarily your heart's desire, but feeling the fiery passions of taking action and making some moves, right? It's the do it card, get it done, right? The action energy, right? The the fiery flames of passion, right? So for some of you guys, it's also a rekindling of an old flame. This could be a love, like a serious love relationship here, and it can indicate that this is about a relationship that's come back a flame. And it's you know it's kind of like you're in a place at this moment where you're comfortable, but you know that there's a potential for expansion. And you're not sure you're ready yet because of how tight you're not, you know, either you're not opening up, you're having a hard time expressing yourself, or you're having a hard time being comfortable being vulnerable with someone other than, you know, someone someone that you either have been in a relationship with and you had kind of put on the, the waiting list because you weren't sure how reliable they are and you still don't trust, right? So there's a kind of, there's, you know, there's a lot of situations, a lot of ways you can read that. But the biggest thing is that with the four of coins, that is a red flag of trust. And not just trusting the situation, but trusting yourself. And when I see that in the two of coins, there was like, you had to really, really, really make sure that this decision that you made here was legit, that was true, that was right. And when you made the decision, you sat on it. So you sat on it and you sit on it. Like you're not going to, like, it's like you're not getting up on it. You're not getting up because... Again, you don't know if you can trust yourself to leave this behind to go after what you do want, to go after what you truly want to to achieve and go after, right? Because there's other probably hurdles that you may have to go through. There's some things that you may have to experience. And that's those are kind of hard things to experience, difficult things that you're not sure even you are ready for do, ready to do it. But you're always ready. And the reason why I say that you're ready is because of the magician. Now, I know I skipped the card four of wands in the near future this is talking about moving towards a place of expansion or a place where you can you know where you do move up to a higher place of commitment in relationships or moving house or moving to a place where you know you can expand and start growing where you created a foundation that does promote and encourage growth this is where you're headed but the four of coins is very much the opposite it doesn't expand on growth it doesn't talk about growth. It talks about stabilizing. It talks about being your, you know, your foundation, you know, providing you stability. But that stability is not a stability. It's not a place where well, this stability isn't expandable. You have to kind of leave this kind of foundation behind because it's cemented into the dirt. It's cemented into the ground. You can't just lift that up and go. It's not a mobile home. This is a real house. It's in like this made in the ground with cement. So unfortunately. You're gonna have to create a brand new house, right? Four of four, four of wands. It has totally all the things that you want to do, or it at least puts you in a place or a position for you to go out and do those things that you want to do. And it, it provides more freedoms, a lot more opportunities, a lot of things like that. But what the four of point coins is telling me is that there is resistance as well as there being a foundation that isn't expandable. The resistance is the is the stress, the anxieties, and the doubts of one of what you have about yourself and being able to create the four of wands, and that's why I jump straight to the magician because your best path to follow is to believe in yourself. 
The magician is all about believing yourself. Why is the magician all about believing in yourself? Well, it's simple. simple. He's got all the tools that he needs to conjure and to create and to manifest what he wants, right? And you have that very same thing. You are the magician himself. The only difference here, though, is that the magician knows and believes in himself, that knows that he's capable of doing these things. And I feel like you guys under, you know, deep down know that you can have an amazing house or an re amazing relationship or have a wonderful family or have a beautifully banging business but you know of course there's always a practical part of you that always sees the potential of failure the potential of something um you know of the demise but you also have the but with that same energy you have the also the potential and you do and you I, that's why this like i feel like there's like a small spark of you guys you know small small part of you guys that believes that you know and you know you can do this you know, that same sort of practical calculations also sees the success in it. Right now is about just believing and, you know, that you can, you know, just go and look for the success. Of course, I understand what, you know, the possible obstacles may be, but know that you can handle it. Know that you can overcome a lot of those obstacles that come your way. You know, you, oh, you have a strong mind, you have a strong you know, business sense, you have a strong, you know, foundation and routine, like, ability, be better than most people, better than most fixed science, to be honest with you. And you guys can utilize that to get to this place. But it comes from 100% believing and not 75% or not 45%. Because I feel like most of you guys are believing in yourself, but only 45%. Not totally jumping the whole bandwagon and saying, yeah, let's do it, okay? Um, and let's believe in myself because this is the biggest thing here. You can create whatever you want as long as you can believe that you can create it and can tackle any sort of craziness that comes up first. Speaking of craziness, right, we have the Nine of Swords in your external energy. Now, the Nine of Swords is telling me that there is nothing outside of this situation that's affecting the, the Four of Swords, or Four of Coins, rather. This is really what you have country uh, this is like the mind playing games or playing tricks right mostly because of what you've experienced what you've gone through the things that you you know had to deal with in the past a lot of this is coming back up and it's coming up in such a in, in such an intense way that it's affecting how you experience your day-to-day -day life either you're more depressed you're not really engaged with the real world because the mind has come through gone through so much trauma so much changes so many changes so many difficult things that it's hard to see the situations for what they really are but but, but since we see the nine of swords here as an ex external energy we know that there's nothing outside of your situation that's causing you stress other than yourself now disclaimer this that can even though I said it doesn't have to, it usually doesn't. To me, you know, may some other readers that watch this may disagree. It can indicate that there are stresses outside of you, but because of how you are approaching it, which is the four of coins, it's one that's also self-inflicted as well. It's a beautiful, it's a it's a wonderful concoction of, you know, of of stress outside of yourself. And you know, self-deprecation because you still maintain that sort of routine structure and all that for that stress to continue to you know bug you to the point where you start to feel depressed and everything like that. You start losing sleep, you know, and it can also make you feel like the power is out of your hands because since the magician is your best path to follow, it's talking about harnessing the energy and the power that you have of your within yourself. You have to realize too that this situation is also under your control, but you have to realize it as a source of control, not necessarily as something as a stressor. Because it is a stressor, but anything that stresses you out, you can change. It may have to change how you, you know, what you do. It may end up changing and uprooting your entire foundation, but you're going to create a new one that allows growth and expansion and, and creativity that you want to implement and that doesn't constrain and make you feel unsafe and un unstable if you get what i'm saying it was interesting though you got the king of swords in your hopes and fears now considering that you're a fixed sign taurus kings are in the tarot are, are considered fixed however it can indicate to that you know either you are worried that either i think the biggest fear is that it's interesting because the king of swords can indicate communication knowledge 
information, beliefs, morals, you know. And the King of Swords has no problem with his truth or anything like that. I think some of you guys may may want to know exactly who you are through and through right now. Okay? It's easier to work with what you know. And I kind of feel like the King of Swords, considering the King of Swords is someone that does not compromise their truth at all, this is someone that's very, very concrete on what they want and what they believe in and what they're willing and what they're not willing to tolerate and deal with. You know what I'm saying? So, for a lot of you guys with the King of Swords coming up in that placement, I kind of get the sense that the biggest thing that, you know, you guys are hoping for is new ideas, is to, you know, to just stand by what you, you what your truth is and go for the big gun. But I think at the same time, you worry that it'll either make you rigid. I think it'll maybe make you feel like you're unconnectable. But the King of Swords can also indicate that there may be another person involved in this, maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, mostly because the King of Swords is an Aquarius energy, but this person can also just come up as someone that is more as a very masculine um, air sign, right? Um, it makes me want to pull actually an additional card for the King of Swords as to, as to what this what this could mean, but the hopes and fears could be that you guys maybe desire somebody that is a air sign to kind of expand in your life with, right? But you guys want to grow and create something with somebody that you find is either very clear on what they want and have their own decided things that they're not willing to compromise on, right? I think the hard thing is that I think there may be the biggest thing, the reason why you're not so you know, so excited about jumping the bandwagon and starting something brand new is because you know that someone else here that's very stubborn in the way they think, in the way they believe, and it kind of keeps you from feeling comfortable about expanding and going something new because it's just another jump to something structured and rigid and unconforming. I'm well, sorry, that's totally conforming rather than unconforming. But I feel like the King of Swords, it can, he has the, he's, yes, the illusion is that he can also be very open minded. He doesn't change his own beliefs, but he is open-minded to hearing other people's points of views and people's thoughts. But I feel like the fear is that you may be dealing with somebody that's not willing to compromise, not willing to open up. But the thing is, the King of Swords is always open for communication, always up for talking things through. Um, and really seeing the person's mindset, understanding their philosophies, the way they see things, the way they understand things. If this, especially if this is regarding working with another person, yeah, con to communicate with them. Don't just assume anything. Con communicate with them because you may be surprised. With I think the King of Swords is always open to explain, you know, to talk about things and to express himself and to explain his theories and his and his in the way he believes. But it only if you could approach him and ask. He won't be just up in your face about it unless, of course, this has something to do with him directly. Now, him or her, okay. But there, if there is no other person, I do feel like you guys want to feel like you know who you are, know what you're standing for, know what you believe, what you believe in, you know what your truth is, and then just making that happen. Being so secure in your own truth that that truth does give you the confidence to execute the lifestyle or the the path that you want to go on. Now your outcome is the Six of Pentacles, and I don't mind this actually because the Six of Coins can indicate to you that there is a balance that is, of course, is a work in progress, but it does start to feel like there is some things that you're getting out of the situation. Like no more putting in, you know, putting in work and time into something that does not give you anything back. But you're actually, you're actually starting to see your efforts starting to be reciprocated. And I feel like this is your potential outcome because how you guys are seeing your situation isn't just like, I don't want to go out and do what I want to do. I'm not getting that vibe. I feel you guys want to create something new. It's the fear of failure. It's the fear of something happening that may, you know, that because whatever happened in your past, it happened not because you were, you know, because there was something wrong with you, but because that there was, it just wasn't either wasn't the time yet, or there was some other lesson that you needed to learn that would can help you now. But the biggest thing is now is that you have to believe in yourself that you can have reciprocated energy. You can have your hard work being presented back to you and then twice fold. But you have to focus mostly on what you want and focus truly on believing in yourself and no longer allowing yourself to continue to doubt your abilities to create what you want. Because there is nothing that can stop you. There's nothing, literally nothing. 
So let's take a look at the Power Surrender card and see what you guys got. All right. Wow. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that do not serve you. Re excuse me. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Now, this card is definitely true. And I, you know, I know some people here that definitely need to hear that kind of message. And the hardest part about that is that usually the people that are unhealthy or, or, or unhealthy or toxic in our lives are the people that we love that are closest to us and the ones that we feel the most responsible before and a lot of times we have no right to, to claim that kind of responsibility for people that don't take responsibility for their own actions and their own health and their own growth or anything like that there's only so much you can do as a person but one of the things that you should never do is allow any other any relationship toxic related to you know relative or, or person that you love relationship stunt your growth because that's what's happening here and even though you know that that you know that, that that external energy is the stressor this is just the fact that you're you know this is telling me to mostly that yes the situations that you've been through from old relationships can be affecting what you know your movement it can affect why you don't believe in yourself or affect why you don't want to expand but it can also indicate here like i said that the stressor is else is, is the, everything else around you is in, in your surroundings right now the stress is, is right around you that does not take away from your power it allows you to implement what you need to implement so you can take your power back and no longer feel distressed but what is this relationship here that's causing you guys stress and what may need to be done so you can no longer feel like you can't be the person that you want to be the creator that you know that you are or two what's keeping you from being able to create and if it's people, if it's a person, if it's the people that you believe that, that, you know, that love you and support you and all that, if it's those people, why are they, why are they giving that power to, to do that? And it's not a judgment. It's truly to help you figure out what you need to do for yourself to be able to be this creator that you are, to continue to manifest the happiness that you want. Because you deserve it. Everybody deserves to be happy. 